Hello, I'm Jacob and this is the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors. Uh, I have an opportunity today, real quick, to show you a couple of incredible rifles. We're going to do some shooting with them and I'm going to talk to you about them a little bit. That is two, not one, but two Bighorn Armory uh, spike drivers and 500 Smith & Wesson. Uh, here, you can uh, check them out. A little bit of backstory on these rifles. 2009, 2010, I was deployed. I purchased a shotgun news like I always did, and I saw a little tiny black and white ad in the back of the shotgun news with no pictures in it that said Bighorn Armory 500 Smith & Wesson lever actions. And I uh, had to get a hold of my dad right away and told him about it. He put money down on, on it, and uh, this is a very early uh, Bighorn Armory machine. This particular uh, rifle um, has been hunting from Alaska down to Texas. It's uh, been shot quite a bit. Beautiful rifle and uh, well dad liked it so much that when he retired he figured he ought to get a second one. And uh, I do not have film good enough. I do not have a camera high quality enough to show you how beautiful this rifle is. Now these are in 500 Smith & Wesson and people often talk about 500 Smith & Wesson in lever actions and they always compare it to 4570 but they compare the energy of the 500 Smith & Wesson in a pistol to the energy of a 4570 in a rifle. The 500 Smith & Wesson is a superior cartridge to the 4570. It's a higher pressure, higher performance cartridge than the 4570 by a good bit uh, when you compare apples to apples and you have equal barrel length uh, when you're looking at energy. But man, this rifle is just absolutely something else. So without further ado, Let's launch some lead and then uh, we'll talk about it real quick. Come on. Oh, that was low, low, low. Come on. I pulled that one pretty bad. All right, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this thing here, and then you can film you shooting that, okay? Okay. So there you have it guys. I definitely worked the action on the older Bighorn a lot better. Uh, the newer one's a little bit stiff, but uh, I know that it'll be just as smooth and just as nice as this old one once it gets some uh, rounds launched through it. One thing that I want to talk about real quick is the price. The starting price on one of these Bighorn armories is about 2500 bucks. And what I want to mention about that is people sit here around all day and talk about Winchesters and Marlins, but back in the day when rifles were handmade, you'd pay one or two months salary or more on a good Winchester rifle, a good handmade Winchester rifle. And today, if you want a good handmade rifle, 
you're going to probably pay one to two months or more paycheck, full paycheck. And so nothing has really changed except our expectation of quality for price has gone up because of mega manufacturing. But still to this day, you can easily drop 1800 bucks on a Japanese made, factory made Winchester anyways. So the, the Bighorn Armories, regardless of what caliber they're in, I think are a bargain, especially for the amount of research and development that had to go into them and the level of quality that you get from these rifles. It's just incredible. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, I will talk to you in the comment section below and I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.